Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, I welcome you all to today's webinar on uncomfortable conversations around a home. Uh, we, uh, especially I was born in the 1970s, and I remember there were many uncomfortable conversations we had at that point of time, and uh, that mostly revolved around uh, be it um, menstruation or alcohol, and uh, masturbation, gays, lesbians, transgenders. Times have changed and now we converse or we talk about these topics in schools and colleges. There are many other topics that have become the uncomfortable conversations. And we are going to delve today into those topics and we plan to do these uncomfortable conversations with college and students on a regular basis just to understand the young adults and uh, maybe just help them out okay now voices for happy homes is our campaign now what is this campaign actually we are a group of people and we want others to join us who are highlighting the anomaly in the system. Now, what does that system say is that work will be accepted only and only when done for money. Now, what has happened with this is that nobody does anything for money in a home. Then does that not qualify as work? You know, how stupid this gets is that I, as a mother, I cannot bring up my own child that would not constitute as work, but I would do the same for my neighbor. For money, it will become work. So just to get what we do is do conversations around a home, about a home, the various aspects of a home, because there are multiple things which happen in a home. Today also we are doing a webinar on uncomfortable conversations around our home. Now, before I dare go further, let me introduce the panel here. Here we have the gener millennials as well as the Generation Z. We have uh, Nopada Ram Gopal, who works as a corporate HR at Taskhas. Nikita Mehra is a psychology student in Delhi University. Rachit Sood is a master's scholar in Gachon University in South Korea. And Reshu Sharma is a B.Tech student in Chandigarh University. Okay, and above most important is that we have two mentors with us. Vasudha Arora, Arora who is a principal, a art therapist and a happiness life coach and Rajni Julka, who's an educationist, a pedagogist, an advisor, STEAM curriculum, a thought coach, and a speaker. Now, I welcome you all to the webinar. Thank you so much, Mona, for the due invite. Yeah. Thank you. Let's delve right into the topic. Uh, I have with me Nikita here. Nikita, who are you closest to in your home? Are you able to share your thoughts and feelings with your family at home? Increasingly loneliness and mental health issues have become so widespread in your generation. Why and what do you think is the reason behind that? First of all, hello everyone. I'm so glad to be here. And as you see, this is my mother. And as the first question starts with that, who are you the most close to? I am obviously with my mother as uh, she has always been a person who has been there for me like I, she's like a friend so I just talk to her a lot very in a very friendly way I just tell her things that usually uh, people are not to share with their parents so I think that there is a special bond that I don't kind of have with my father but I have with my mother and I'm very glad that I can at least share it with at least one of the individuals in my house and can we go step by step with the question? Because there were, there, were, there were a lot of questions. Yeah. First question was, who are you most close to? So I, as I stated, it's my mother. Next question was? Yeah. Are you able to share your thoughts and feelings? Yes. Yes, that, that's what I stated. <laughs> okay. The next yeah. question is that mental health and uh, loneliness has become very pandemic in your generation. Why? Well, mental health and... Uh, 
the problems that we all face right now i think that you, even you over that you would all agree is that it is about sharing it is about this i think there is a generation gap that is uh, that is uh, hindering us from ex, uh, expressing ourselves to to, a, to the parents so through a, because of that the because of this generation gap the a person is not able to express their feelings properly to their parents because they usually feel that like the parents won't be able to understand them they feel it it is natural during puberty we all we all teenagers feel that nobody understands us we all have this feeling that nobody is going to understand our feeling and what we are going through and that's why we fight we fight we become a bit rebellious or maybe we develop this attitude that we are not being understood in this family but what we eventually get to know is that they are there for our benefit and they are thinking the best but i think that uh, at this at this stage and in 21st century our parents also need to uh, develop with us they also need to change make their changes make changes in their thought processes and try to adjust with us because we are not the all, uh, only ones who have to understand them they also have need to understand us in a lot of areas because of changing dynamics of the Uh, the centuries of the uh, of the society of the things that we face right now our parents did not face it a lot of years ago Th- that was a different era absolutely so no social there. media was there yeah. and we were in a much much better space so, so what is normal for us might not be normal normal for them absolutely so so let me you, ask uh, this same question Ola, uh, yeah here i want to ask maybe nikita for just for 10 second uh of course as you said the social media impact has been more so as a as a millennial of course your time most of the time is on social media now we are missing on the human resource we are missing on the human emotions and contrib- i would say replacing it with the social media emotions is my question here is are the young generation who are more sensitive and sensible according to me aren't they also changing the emotional understanding of human psychology with the social media emotions more and then we expect also our older generation to fit the bill well i think that somehow social media is affecting it no doubt there is an effect on it but i think that somehow uh, this social media has created a platform for validation so you now this validation point is very important because that is where the emo- emotion stimulate that is where the emotions of happiness start of acceptance start so when your parents or your when your surrounding and society are not able to understand you that is the time when we dwell on social media we we depend on it we we want that people appreciate us for who we are we want that so when there is discrepancy in the talking stage or in the understanding stage with their parents i think that that is the stage where social media has but yeah obviously we should not depend on it but we cannot even run away from it because it's like uh, but, but the question uh, here yeah. was doesn't that cause loneliness because you running away from human direct emotions you are getting isolated in a social media on your you, you know it gives you that validation for some time but you uh, that human connect is not there unless and until that human connect what do you say to that i let me ask so are you else. compensating yeah. or just i want to let it now i did not understand it earlier a, a bit i was a bit confused with what the question was but as you said that yeah the human touch it is declining it is being effective i agree with you all but uh, i also think that it is a thing that as we uh, we are humans we are, have feelings we have emotions uh why don't we just as humans interact just you know even if a person is trying to run away from the situation we can handle it we can solve it it is a two way thing uh, the parents can also do it the child can also do it it has to be an initiative taken by either of the side Okay. No, but Nikita, I would just like to add here one thing. Don't you feel that even if you are busy, uh, you know, social media me, but still you are lonely because you yes. are actually not in your real world. You are not interacting with. Yeah. You are sitting with your mom. You are sitting with your brother or father, but you all are busy on your phones. 
So where is that human connect? So basically, when she asked about loneliness, I feel that that loneliness and insecurity is there. That is why we are looking for appreciation on social media. Where Actually, if your fa family is appreciating you, I think that should be more than enough because they are the best well-wishers for you. But sometimes that's not enough <laughs> because actually it is human nature. I'll tell you that uh, as an individual, we when our close ones tell us that, oh, you are amazing, you are special, you are everything to us. But, you know, uh, when a third person says the same thing, uh, you affect, you uh, understand it more than you do it. With, with I think we should ask this question to others also. I, I want no, to ask this question because the uh, question Anna, I want to ask. Please move to the other uh, because uh, I, I, I want to ask this question because this is very related question. Rachit, the question I think I have is for you. How much life does your generation live on a status which is show off or reality? Which is, this is very relevant and uh, similar uh, related to it. Yeah. With so much time on social media, does real life take a backseat. What do you say, Rachid? So, first of all, hello, everyone. Hello. And as you know, everyone says that when you country, se bahar ho, to then that is the moment when you literally start realizing the value of each and everything which was easily available in your country. Mein. So, I'll prefer, you know, speaking a bit more in Hindi rather than English because now I feel like I'm a Bharat Vasi. Ho, <laughs> so, Hindi <laughs> prefer. Karunga. Please, so, Hindi, there's no problem. We all know Hindi. Jante Sure, ma'am, oh, sure. Yeah. So, but uh, I think, ma'am, yes, this is the fact that aajkal ke time mein show off is something which is very common. Ho chuka hai. I think this is the first thing which is Because if we start appreciating what is wrong and if it starts being, you know, normalized, so I think then the problem will start growing a For example, uh, these days this is very common because back in India when I was there in Shulini, so like especially hamari age ka koi bhi bachcha usi insaan ke sath thoda ghumna phirna connection develop karna pasand karta hai who you know have that kind of status for example first would be money jo i think aaj ke time mein aisa hai ki jiske paas paisa hai bas sabhi uska hai the second thing would be some branded clothes i mean this is somewhat also related to money but for example agar koi insaan Saste kapde paake bhi, thrifting ke kapde paake bhi achha dik raha hai. But then still people will appreciate the one who is wearing Zara, Nike, Adidas ya kuch waisa branded clothes. I do agree that show off aaj kal bohat jyada ho gaya. For example, what is very common these days is if let's say we are visiting a mall, to bas changing room mein jaake kapde liye nahi, purchase nahi kiye. We are just wearing it, we are just clicking a picture and posting it on social media. Just to let our other friends and you know, some people know ki, okay we are able to afford this thing we are able to afford this particular brand but i have seen this multiple times nahi hota hai. what they do usually do is i would say jayenge, they'll change the clothes they'll click a picture they'll just post and they'll return it so i mean agar ye show off ka trend itna nahi hota to i think ye sab karne ki is bheed mein i think hame adjust hone ki zarurat hi nahi hoti firstly but i'll say Z matlab har ek, eh, is generation mein especially I don't really feel ki everyone is into show off and such status kind of a life because there are still very few people I would say jo wo, like our parents say you know bhi guzara karna se jante hai. so obviously there are quite people like I had multiple friends back there in Shulini jo, even if we are not you know able to afford acha sa pe koi Nescafe, like Rajni ma'am would know. Acha sa koi restaurant, we might not be able to afford, but still they are very, very, I mean, I would say they are quite, uh, I had a lot of good friends. Like uh, back there in India, I was not, you know, financially that much stable. My family was not that much financially stable. So I wouldn't say ki mere friends nahi te just because of the fact that I was not able to provide them the things that but yes, this is the fact that if we talk about the ratio or the percentage, I think approximately about 70 to 80 percent is just about show off. Absolutely. The reality is still there, but show off. Hai. 
let me let me ask the mentor over here let me ask vasudha vasudha what do you think uh, itna zyada show off does it affect the mental health and how would, uh, children can have a little more connection and be more positive kaise kaise show them thoda sa guide karo tell them okay see basically i'll tell you one thing what i believe in happiness is self satisfaction right so till the time you are self satisfied i think the show off thing will happen see i basically i am not a person that if i'm going somewhere i'll click a photograph and i'll immediately post it on instagram or facebook right so i have seen this trend you know these days as rachit mentioned just now that kids they are actually like this each and every minute status or story whatever they call it on instagram is posted so basically i feel that self confidence has to be developed and as you say you know to remain positive and much happier in life it is very important to pursue your passions Absolutely. like if you are an artist if you are a musician if you are a dancer whatever being an art therapist and a happiness life coach this is what i tell my students that if you really want to be happy see money is one thing which as you mentioned just now it is never ending and you can uh, you know never be satisfied jitna hai kam lagega ठीक है कल हम अंबानी एंड टाटा जितने भी हो जाएंगे तो भी हमें हो सकता है लगे कि नहीं कम है सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव अ पैशन व्हिच यू कैन परस्यू सो आई थिंक द हैप्पीनेस व्हिच यू गेट आउट ऑफ इट यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर दीस डेज आई कम अक्रॉस पीपल दोज हैव डन सो वेल इन लाइफ बट दे हैव लेफ्ट देयर जॉब्स बिकॉज दे डेंट रिक्वायर मनी एज सच एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एंड दे आर परस्यूइंग देयर पैशन सो आई फील दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Rajni, what do you have to say to this about the passion and uh, being a little happy? What is your take on that? Social so media. My take, uh, Mona, uh, very well. Rachit said because Rachit has experienced very different kind of, as he said, the support system, not financially. I've seen this boy growing, and I'm so happy that he's moved to South Korea. And of course, the kind of environment and the people we live is very important. So no matter less. when you talk about happiness first question is to ask yourself is are you satisfied now you will get an answer i by the point of nikita the validation on social media from a third person now we have to question ourselves uh, are these third person so important in life rather than us and the family or the second person in the close knit who is our niche actually habitat social media gives you a platform to reach out to across the world to showcase your skills we have to see the positive sides of the social media what we are trying to do is we are trying to get the emotional validity and appreciation from an unknown person who doesn't know our life who doesn't know our background who doesn't know what accolades we carry or doesn't know but just with the photographs you are getting appreciation now you have to also understand that appreciation a coin has two sides okay with appreciation comes a pinch of salt where a parent may be strict a parent will give you a feedback your teachers will give you a feedback your friends feedbacks are to be taken as a constructive thing you would like to always feel a oh, have a feel good factor i'm always good i'm always happy but that's not the life all about so as you rightly said that vasudha uh, many people have been leaving their jobs because money can't buy your clothes will not define uh the best of the humble nice genuine people are very low profile they live a very simple life but their visions are bigger they try to do bigger things uh as compared uh like what i do in my life also i would say yes money is a requirement everything in life is a requirement emotions money status everything your circle but excess of everything is bad i say how much you can satisfy through your money we have seen people Absolutely. who are left alone who are running behind the money but what are you doing what legacy you are leaving how many people are there to stand by you is important will the social media people come out and stand for you when actually you need people around you it's only your family and the close circle Absolutely. so let's i think there's a small one thing which every millennial should do should do is the do's and don'ts what i need in life what i don't need in life now what i need in life who is giving me just right next to that my father is giving my friend is giving my brother is giving my mother is giving my grandfather is giving my colleagues are giving and 
of course what you don't want is is out of the box so you get your answers by default it's a self mirroring assessment which millennials can do i believe that so it's very important to first ask yourself are you satisfied to the best absolutely absolutely so that, that is the, yeah that is the key are you satisfied because your personal satisfaction will define your happiness index now let's move on to the uh, the next question i think we'll have more discussion on that ram uh, recently in japan which is a country known for values ethics and culture the weekly and overall alcohol alcohol consumption is being aggressively promoted because of the flagging gdp do you think this will have effect on the atmosphere at home what do you say first of all thank you so much for inviting me here and uh, yes definitely i would love to you know answer that that was quite a hot topic which we had in rec recent past few weeks i see that you know uh, the action which government has taken just to increase the tax returns or like to in terms of you know increasing the gdp of the economy is something which was a wrong because i see that you know i was just doing some you know r and d on it and i see that in 1980 the 5% of the alcohol consumption of like towards the chart uh, towards the you know taxation was like 5% like out of 100 however it was been declining in 2011 to 3% and now in 2011 as per the you know latest survey we have it's like 1.7% so it means that the youth of japan is more inclined towards spiritual aspects which i see the reason moreover they are very conscious with their life they want to don't want to they are high enough in their lives that they don't want any intoxication to get injected in their bodies to feel high right so that's why we see that the talent and the growth of japan was like completely immense but this is a fact which i believe that government has not uh, considered and they are just focusing on the revenue front since we see that it's one of the you know developed nations we have even more than usa and japan knows that one day it will sink under water but still they are kind of very active agile when it comes to you know their economic growth and stuff but this is something which they are they have missed upon and i'm i'm very much sure as per my predictions and the discussion i had with my you know my panel in like i see that they will definitely going to see an impact because of it yeah so that's how it's going to be apart from that i see that uh, you know we should take things in the way they are instead of taking it in the way we want to this is what uh, you know they have done so far and this is a point we can actually add up to the very first point uh, you know where where we were discussing about this where uh, about the youth how they are and you know i am very young and to be very honest i am the youngest one in my office i don't look like i carry myself in that way i'm i'm just 23 and i see that you know people generally don't take things in the way they are uh, you know they are instead of taking it in the they want to so they live in a world they live in a shell the way you know uh, they want to build the life the imaginary life and you know they try to uh, pull out some uh, they they want to extract something which they want but they can't do it since they are pushing the wrong button right so that is something which is like really really important that's what i feel here again relating it to the japan uh, you know this is something which government has did so they are just looking into the present phase where they see yes uh, the gdp is like low and they are comparing it with other countries but they are not they are leaving this aspect that there are been different multiple surveys on which uh, you know japan has been ranked at 38 out of 45 countries in terms of alcohol consumption and it's going do, de, like down and down you know so that is a different aspect so in terms of growth prospective if we see like professionally and personally and consciously they will grow and uh, they have started this movement uh, called uh, you know uh, it's, it's a kind of a different japanese uh, you know name but they have kind of started a movement where they are kind of promoting they are asking other brands to come investment invest in japan or we give you subsidies to open up treasures of you know alcohol uh, you know uh, you can say industries and moreover the designing you know they have hired designing companies to design alcohol bottles so that they can attract youth to consume it and they are targeting the age group of like 20 to 39 which is again a bad thing uh, in india we don't know we, we we know how it is and since the india is to, to be like top 10 countries in terms of alcohol consumption i feel that 
later till the time we are controlling it it's it's going to be good the moment it starts controlling you it's going to be bad right so you won't be conscious enough to live your life to its utmost so yeah that's so a, that's from, that's my views from, on it. it with your thought process we understand that as a youth you are not in favor of this consumption and you yes. have to consciously choose now who decides the choice is the question so something has been enforced by the government from the external agencies Mm -hmm. now you we have seen in we are seeing much things happening in punjab especially you know even me coming from the same belt we know right. that alcohol these things are a lot of cases and coming up but who decides the consciously the choice taken up by the youth because right. you are mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me let me complete because yeah, you are driven by a value now you are a person a student whom i know who has been born and brought up in an army family coming from a south india but living in punjab past couple of you know uh, years yeah. so there is a different and the cultural shock in terms of uh, geographical location people tradition uh, but how much i know you you have been trying to balance both the value system and you know what is right for you and what is wrong for you to so, that uh, so who decides the growth of your personal happiness growth of your personal uh, uh, choices in life and uh, if you are devi if anyone deviates from that who are the people who will root you back to that is the question now that was beautifully question and you know that was planted so well so i would love to answer that ma'am uh, thank you for like getting that thing so now we can kind of relate the first topic and the second topic right so okay first of all who is the one who is deciding your choice so i believe that you know the life comes between two alphabets one is b and d b for birth and d for death and there is a c alphabet that is choice we owe nothing in life that's what i believe we owe, we don't owe our eyes nose how it's going to be looking or how uh, how what will be my height or i'll be having this car or that car it might go out it might come in we never know we never thought of covid right so choice is the only thing which person have with us but now when i say this is the only thing which we carry from our birth till that that has been influenced now by whom social media again i'll tell you so let's talk about technical aspect to it so when i say technical aspect to it data selling is the biggest market now even metaverse is being built on data selling so our phone knows more than us it knows where we are we allow this small device where we are what clothes we are looking at what is my favorite color who am i meeting okay where i went to do shopping so i am a kind of the way you know uh, rachit covered that yes if i am if i'm go, going uh, if i'm in an office i'm doing work i'll just post a status stating that work hard have fun or something like that so it states that i am in an office so this all data is been you know kind of uh, been taken as a fuel by ai and it kind of customize it in the way you will be seeing what they want to you know make us watch so this is something which is psychologically impacting us right if we right now right now even i can tell you this that if we talk if we this topic would be about insurance in short we would be getting insurance mail within like next few hours like you know in our emails they would be having everything so that's how it is so when you say this that who is impacting that choice that is social media right so that is something which is influencing the youth really 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 bad that is the reason tiktok was banned because it was kind of content creation is a different part so content creation is not like you play a song and just doing whatever you want it is not adding value not adding any skill set so it was being targeted right so target that is a different topic altogether but still like you know it the the people got influenced because it was been promoted this way Absolutely. they were investing so much time in it right Absolutely. so that is that is the only thing which is i believe nowadays impacting the choice of the human being especially the youth which actually the choice which you are making is been driven by how people look at you then again that is something decided by the status symbol you wear what you wear what phone you carry most of in my uh, like most of the colleagues who are at whom are, who uh, who are reporting to me they are kind of carrying apple and i'm <laughs> carrying a normal android phone now now they see they will be you know kind of holding the phone like this 
instead of you know like this yeah. I, i carry my that's, show up. They that's they want to show it's an apple it so happens they, so much now yeah sorry go ahead no no, no, no that's completely yeah, yeah, yeah. you were talking about influence because that is a very important aspect i want to hear about because you see one uh, aspect is that the outside is influencing you so much when is it yeah. that you say we stop and we will make our own choice because mm-hmm. here somewhere that line has to be drawn who draws right. the line there so now as a youth i think coaching you know connecting i am i'm very i follow chanakya a lot i i rather krishnan pillai so the books you know we have treasures written by our ancestors so we should be always connected that there is a there is a astra where they say that chanakya says that you should be always connected with your past so that whatever mistakes were done earlier should not be repeated by you if you are doing the same mistake then there is no relevance of upbringing growing consciously at the same time like spiritually and if you are consciously spiritually active i believe that you can go professionally you can do like whatever you want to do in your life right so that's what i believe so coming to back you know the this thing so now they don't see what is their requirement they don't know even some of the application some of the features that they don't even use 90% of features of the phone they only use 10% of the features one is camera second is their you know snapchat or the you know refresh rate or something apart from that they don't check on anything else right so they don't see the requirement the amount they are spending is high so again apple is influencing them right why do we so this was something which was happening in your time as with the mentors so if you guys see discovery channel obviously are you all of you you know have uh, well grown males in your house so <laughs> when you see that they watch discovery channel on a sports channel you won't see anyone you know uh, you know you won't see anyone uh, playing fair and lovely ad cosmetics ad on discovery right so why because again that the target is men hair no woman would be watching that that would be very rare to rare case where if you pick up any channel like colors you know so you will see that cosmetics are the ads are more so it's like kind of targeting that's what we used to do to television media that was one of the things which we used to do earlier but now we have everything here so this is kind of influence. there is a lot of influence happening and that's what i get from you ram and uh, this is causing a lot of uh, people to uh, what we call as that uh, that effect that where, where we there is a lot of show off and there is a lot of uh, outside uh, uh, validation that is required by the generation now there yeah. is the line uh, let me ask a question to uh, vasudha and uh, let me get uh, uh, reshu to talk a little about the outside yeah. influence because she's been here and uh, i have other question to her also but before that let me ask her uh, arishu what do you think there is a lot of social media influence in your generation yes ma'am ma'am am i audible yes yes you are audible yes ma'am ma'am before answering this question there is uh, one point that i would like to add to the question which was asked to uh, ram gopal it was on japan so uh, i would like to add that japan they have taken this decision they are not they uh, they uh, made this alcohol mandatory for the generation the so not thinking that making alcohol mandatory for their generation they are affecting their future absolutely so the generation who is going to increase the gdp in future their future has been put on stake by the government now today making this alcohol mandate and talking about the social media influence ma'am yes we are being influenced by the outside world and i would like to put up a very simple thing ma'am the uh, two two things the first thing is limit limit to everything people the gen, uh, the gen z today's generation they should know the limit absolutely and absolutely. and the second thing that i want to put up here is a solution to this is effective communication uh, with your parents with the family with your friends effective communication will in uh, it will affect your daily life it will um, and by this the g- present generation it will boost their self esteem 
increase the uh, decrease their loneliness and they will start spending more time with the family members and uh, they will start talking they will they will start feeling good and this outside influence will start decreasing absolutely very well said let me ask uh, nikita also nikita social media is a bane and a boon both uh, let me ask the new generation because i want this uh, question to be answered by nikita and rajit both uh, nikita what do you say first yes it is a boon and a bane i agree with you it is but uh, i think that yeah, it is a bane more uh, because it it is affecting us you get a lot of scolding from me because of that <laughs> Yeah, every day. I think all the kids do. <laughs> you know, I, I cannot leave it. I set the limit. I do not. I do not use my phone on dining table or something like that. When I'm with my family, I'm with my family. It's like it. It, it is just natural because we have been brought up. Like I did not get phone till the class twelfth. So and I didn't even didn't even fight with my parents because I knew because I knew what was right, what was what was wrong. I had both at both at that time, so I knew that I, that would be a big distraction. i was not on social media till the class of 12 i i had that uh, i had this problem of peer pressure a lot of people a lot of friends of mine though i was very popular in school but still they were like why are you on social media why are you on instagram snapchat like we want to see your pictures and stuff and i was like i don't want to be there i know what i am doing right now and i'll get to it when i when, when i get a phone and when i am past the stage of both why not Absolutely. so uh, after that i am very being very honest after that when i came on social media it was like an addiction it was i just i just kept on kept on clicking pictures and still do i still uh, take the photos of the sky like what we call it today is like the aesthetic of new days so it's <laughs> a photos and uh, putting reels i do that and uh, and i kind of missed with the question what was that that yeah it is being affected the boon or the bane yeah so it is a boon and a bane both uh, it is a boon because it is actually making us very socially aware of things that we i had no clue existed and i even made my mother uh, aware of some of the young slang that we used that she was often <laughs> interacting with the young she had given me a master class on uh, the kind of words you guys use uh, what what is that hang hangry no, i just what she, she, the one day just the boy came to her and she uh, she just stated uh, yo yo i still need to learn i think we need to take classes from these youngsters you know absolutely so yeah, yeah, so that's what i have taken the class i did a, a complete activity on that I in my her, master class I give her list of all the slang words. I think I, I should also I'll be asking my son now. <laughs> please just do. please do. And let me ask Rachit. Rachit, please tell me what do you think uh, the social media is uh, been uh, good for you or you think it's a major pain? What do you think? Well, ma'am, if I talk about my personal experience about like how and what impact social media has, you know what has been the actual impact of social media in my life as such so actually i am a singer so what i used to do is i just used to post some you know cover videos of mine so now i'll say ki mere case mein i think positively bahut zyada impact kiya hai social media ne because of the fact firstly i was very you know i i would say introvert because although i have you know a lot of experience on doing on of you know various stage shows or both sub i had a lot of experience but still i had that kind of introvert personality but when it comes to social media so like just for an example there's an singing app karaoke app called star maker so what i used to do i just used to post some cover videos cover songs of mine over on that particular platform and after i think two or two and a half year i started actually gaining some amount of money from that particular app now this is the stage jahan pe addiction aur wo particular dedication mein farak karna hum logon ko bahut zaruri ho jata hai why because generally kya ho raha hai which i am watching here as well i think parents apne bachchon ko especially wo line draw karne ke liye bahut 
अच्छे से सिखाना चाहते हैं बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो नहीं हो पा रहे हैं बट इस केस में क्या होता है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ योर सन और डॉटर इज अर्निंग वेल फ्रॉम अ सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म देन इवन द पेरेंट्स आर लाइक ओके राधर देन स्पेंडिंग सम टाइम ऑन समथिंग एल्स इट्स गुड इफ यू जस्ट स्पेंड सम टाइम ओवर हेयर जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस वेदर इट बी मनी वेदर इट बी फेम वेदर इट बी एनी थिंग एल्स सो आई थिंक दिस इज द पॉइंट जहां पे पेरेंट्स को भी ये चीज समझना जरूरी है लाइक यू नो आज के टाइम में मैं क्या देख रहा हूँ लाइक दे बीन अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंसेज हु आर गुड फ्रेंड्स ऑफ माइंड तो इवन वो भी कुछ टाइम के बाद डिस्पाइट है लॉट ऑफ फॉलोअर्स लॉट ऑफ फेम लॉट ऑफ मनी आई वुड से कुछ टाइम के बाद लाइक फॉर अ मंथ और टू उन लोगों की आईडी डीएक्टिवेट हो जाती है सेइंग दैट आई थिंक हमारी मेंटल हेल्थ हमारे लिए ज्यादा जरूरी है एंड वी हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर अबाउट द कंटेंट यू नो अबाउट एवरीथिंग बट वही मतलब मैं अपने पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस के बेसिस पे या कुछ और अपने फ्रेंड्स के इस एक्सपीरियंस के बेसिस पे कहूंगा कि दिस इज द पॉइंट वेर द पेरेंट्स शुड ऑल्सो यू नो रियलाइज की ओके अगर उनका बच्चा अच्छा कर रहा है किसी सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म पे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम डूइंग वेल ऑन सोशल मीडिया इफ आई एम स्पेंडिंग सम टाइम ऑफ माइंड ऑफ सोशल मीडिया तो वो वो टाइम है जो मैं खुशी खुशी और पूरी डेडिकेशन के साथ वहां देना चाहता हूँ ना उस टाइम पे मुझे ये वहां से कोई लालच नहीं है कि ओके आई एल बी गेटिंग सम मनी आई एल बी गेटिंग समथिंग एल्स बट इफ आई एम गेटिंग इट इवेंचुअली आफ्टर द लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ओवर द प्लेटफॉर्म तो जरूरी नहीं है कि ओके अब मुझे कंटिन्यूसली अगर मैं एक घंटा लाइव जाता हूं तो मुझे दिन के तीन घंटे वहां पे बिता के एक्स्ट्रा मनी कमाने की जरूरत है सो दिस इज द इन्फ्लुएंस जो किसी हद तक काफी पॉजिटिव था बट वो इवेंचुअली कब नेगेटिव में टर्न हो जाता है वी डोंट इवन रियलाइज सो मेरे लिए काफी पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट रहा है मैम इसका Sorry, that is good, and uh, we hope uh, yeah, that uh, continues for you. But he is uh, right, you know. It actually gets converted to negative, and we don't come to know. I think the know. next question. The line cup cross हो जाती है. हाँ, absolutely वसुगा. ये line cup cross हो जाती है. पता ही नहीं लगता. In fact, मैं अपने बारे में बताती हूँ. कई बारी इतना ज़्यादा social media हो जाता है. Just getting on the computer and doing the things. It gets to be like you get a start getting a headache. and um, avasuda you are a happiness coach i think you also understand what are the tips for uh, give it some, some tips to chill, uh, students kaise <laughs> see basically i'll just uh... Uh, just uh, share one thing here is we, we all know that the physical health is more important right and this online thing is taking over it i think as kids you must have also enjoyed playing outside if you didn't had the phone and i think your generation also i think when you were kids you didn't had phones in your hands so it was always better going out and getting physical uh, training done or being physically fit these days not only you people i think our generation is also getting affected by it theek hai as rachit just mentioned ki aapko app se fayda ho raha hai i'll tell you one thing i am an artist i paint but i think i spend more time on the apps like pin interest to see and take the ideas from there rather than actually starting painting theek hai so i feel i intend to waste my time more so jab aap finally karne ke liye utarte ho to shayad kai bar bahut der ho jati hai so that is very important that limit and what ratio said i really like that effective communication thing which she said it is really okay. really required in these days because our families i'm telling you mother is sitting busy on her phone child is also sitting next to her and the whole family is busy on the phone i don't know what they are doing they must be doing whatever is interest is actually of their interest but still that human connect and effective communication is missing absolutely so yeah, no, ram you want to say something please yes adding to adding to what since we have uh, people from education industry too so i just wanted to add on something i had this thought like a way long back to add you know kind of spiritual aspects also in our study curriculum because the the you know i recently visited my school aps patiala i see that uh, you know the stabus is kind of same again so i see this is something which we can initiate because i believe like starting from one can be you know a good start and we can end up doing something really great right so not just adding the spiritual aspect now since the uh, the industry is growing you know when i say industry when we converted when we got from when we shifted ourselves from 3g to 4g if we we all would have witnessed that we used to download songs and listen to it now we live stream it we never used to live stream or watch video on youtube 
we never used to yeah. do that yeah. no matter we had like a micromax canvas like the big size phones but still we don't used to do that because i remember i used to have this dongle i used to you know request my mom to give me 100 bucks just to get a recharge of 2 gb now since this data is also kind of very much available it's like there because of the monopoly however like if we see other countries it is like really costly as compared to india right so now since data is there now we are shift we are on to shift from 4g to 5g so my point here is when we were in 3g our education system was like kind of same when we shifted to 4g again there was nothing added what was the impact of 4g on this on education we have came up with digital classes we have kind of that, that too even was promoted when this when we got hit by covid right so now that that was also kind of influenced later on right so i believe that the way we are changing in terms of technology front we should also parallelly make changes in the education system to make everyone aware because i see the maximum time a person spends is with coaching institutes from the age kindergarten the way the from the very moment he starts you know his life from kindergarten to uh, the the graduation or post graduation he is into isn't it so Absolutely. we wake up we go we do our you know school like we have everything but again it's it's kind of you know again like coming to parents again some of the parents come from they my parents come from middle lower middle class family and somewhere right now my status is of middle class right and i would be looking forward to grow myself up right but again when it comes to understanding of upper class to middle middle to lower middle and lower class again it's going to be different so right now we have to kind of convey this to everyone so that could be only done through children that's what i see that is the only medium if we talk about pra practical aspect to it and moreover it has to be in we can create a more influence as rajni ma'am added like what the last point how we can bring it back because we have talked about that why how it is impacting and everything but what about the solution i think this is one of the practical solution we can come up with and yes adding updating the curriculum not only into literature or you know the 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 materialistic aspect of education we should kind of add social media we should add technology aspect technology impact at the same time awareness about our scriptures and like everything should also be that so dr ram you are right that we should uh, include that in the curriculum because social media is going to be take effect from of all of us now in the especially in the coming generation so this that. education has to be there that how do we limit ourselves because there has to be some line which has to be drawn and the right. education starting from the start uh, you know they is smaller the children are they and by the time they grow up they will be in a better understanding Space. Let's go on to the next question, the last question, because we we are running out of time. Yes, uh, yes. Recently, Reshu, this is for you. Uh, recently, MMS of a student of a top-notch university became popular and viral. Uh, what do you think? How much personal information we should share with friends, especially those ones who we uh, you know uh, make on F Facebook and Instagram and all that. Secondly, sometimes we are embarrassed to share with our family our goof up. or even if we do not do something just the talk on an issue is embarrassing thinking of the backlash how do you open up, a, up about that yes ma'am ma'am when girls from the top notch university woke up in the morning got ready ate their breakfast and thought that it's like a normal usual day they never expected that they will see their mms going viral on internet so should we not trust our friends this is a very generally asked question here uh good evening everyone and i am reshu sharma currently doing my engineering degree from chandigarh university and uh, thank you very much for having me here and providing this opportunity to speak on this topic that there's this saying ma'am that sharing makes your pain less well i definitely agree with this statement friends are god's gift according to me we share all our problems and they're always there to support us to guide us and to tell us the right thing uh yes you can definitely share everything with your friend but the main thing that comes here is that is that friend trustworthy 
is their friend trustworthy um the youth should be careful when making friends you cannot share anything with anyone um you need to choose a right person and that requires time and trust um it does not depend how much information you share with your friends it depends with whom you share and the second part of the question that was asked is how to open up with your parents without being embarrassed ma'am i would like to ask one question to the youth present here that what uh, when the when, when the last time you uh, had an emotional breakdown whose face popped up in your mind was that of your parents for many certainly yes um so parents are always there to listen to you they will always listen to you without judging you and uh, it is very important for parents and children to have healthy communication and uh, when the communication is done effectively children begin to feel comfortable they begin to feel that their voice is being heard they're being understood and this boosts up their self esteem their morale and i would like to state few points to the youth present here that how you should open up to your parents without feeling embarrassed and first is take some time to think about what you want to share second be truthful be honest in a sense when you're speaking speak with your heart third third thing is choose the right time and right mode of communication see that your parents are free they have time they are ready to listen to you they are in right state right mood fourth thing is be patient they will have loads of question to ask to you they will be angry they will be frustrated be patient make them understand your thing and just talk and the next thing is don't be discouraged just speak because parents will never ever uh, misunderstand you they're always ready to understand you so yes thank you yeah. absolutely deshu you said a very parents uh, will never take undue advantage at advant undue advantage or maybe you know in the beginning ho sakta hai kai parents will get a little upset or they might get angry but still their intentions are right that's what yeah, i i'll tell you one thing mona here and in fact the youth present here what reshu said is perfectly right obviously being a mother i would say that she is right but see i fully agree parents actions might be wrong but their intentions will never be wrong kai bar ho sakta hai yes definitely what she said that they might be angry but they will be angry because they bothered about you right even if a child comes and tells you later that usne goof up kiya hai to parent ka reaction obviously tension hai pehle ठीक है कि उसको सॉल्व कैसे किया जाए अब सो ऑब्वियसली देयर एक्शंस एट टाइम्स माइट बी रॉन्ग एकदम से हो सकता है स्लैप भी लग जाए चांटा भी हो जाए थोड़ा डांट दपट भी हो जाए बट फाइनली एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दे आर ऑलवेज स्टैंडिंग विथ यू बिहाइंड यू एंड आई हेड यू टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट इज व्हाट आई absolutely they are the one that you should go to and not go to anybody in fact nikita in my daughter is also here i uh, similarly i want to ask her to get another perspective we you uh, social media has become such a uh, because this also started with social media only what i wanted to ask is that how much information do you want to share especially this information when we talk about for the women out there listening when we are talking or chatting to somebody new how much is the how much information should you share where do you draw the line nikita this uh, question is for you well there is a line to be drawn on social media you cannot share everything with everyone because they might seem that they do not judge you they will give you validation they will give you appreciation they would say lovely things about you but still that does not make you Uh, so it should not be more more influencing and should not influence you to cross the line you can talk to strangers there are even apps like omegle right now that in which we people we young generation talk to the uh, people from even other countries and if we if we like yeah, let's make new friends why not why shouldn't we try it so we do that but i think that sharing too much uh without even knowing the person without even meeting that person without even understanding that person like what type of person that he or she is i think there the line should be drawn if a person forces you just do not 
cross the line know what your values are know, know what your morals are and do not cross those lines just because the other person is telling you or making you there is this pressure being created by the peers or the other person just because they kind of even there is uh, this uh, thing that uh, i have heard a lot and it's it's mostly said by some of the people like oh ho share it it's uh, you only live once that is what you need to do in life right come on no guts no glory no balls no story so that's what happens so they try to push you through that and it happens you make mistakes sometimes but it's okay and you have to understand that there is and actually i think that experiences um, make you understand what's right and wrong you know you meet a lot of kinds of people as especially as as you said like as women we meet a lot of uh, like a variety of men out there with whom we actually after some time we understand like what is the red flag and what is not red flag is basically what is not right and what is uh, what is uh, the right thing so at that time i think that some of the experiences really make you mature through this but as i said that line should not be crossed you should draw your own line your own, your line should not change just because the other person is persuading you to do something absolutely absolutely and uh, women should be very uh, well aware of the you know their rights and uh, they should very well set the points uh, we should keep in mind so that you know uh, the parents are the right person to go back to because see especially they have the right intention the points you said were amazing and i absolutely agree with you and uh, anything masuda uh, 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 you want to say to this uh, because see um, uh, what happens is that uh, in that issue there was a lot of uh, uh, blackmailing also happened and uh, when that happens i think the child should just go to somebody who whom they trust maybe it might be that uh, uh, so that might happen the child might go to a teacher they trust and that the teacher might go back to the parent that might also might happen but mona here i seriously feel that child should first open up with the parents like i'll tell you now my son will be joining his college soon in next 10 15 days right but, and uh, i always tell him ki even if you are facing any kind of issue see bullying and all these things are very common these days ragging has been banned but still there is bullying right mm-hmm. so if the child has gone out from home such a protected environment first time in life if that child is facing something at times you know they don't try to share with parents because of this reason also ki mamma ko tension ho jayegi ya ye ye maine suna hai yes i always tell him ki see jo bhi hoga but at least hum tumhare sath hain ha theek hai even if not even a single person in this whole world is with you but at least we are bothered about you even if you are wrong you tell us hmm. we are with you to support you kuch na kuch solution nikalenge uska so that is why i feel ki maine aapko bataya na actions galat ho sakte hain but intentions kabhi galat nahi hote ha so isliye i think uh, these uncomfortable conversations which we are talking about today i think uh, we should not say that the, these should be inca- uncomfortable but we have to try with effective communication to make them comfortable absolutely yes, actually uh, i would like to add that it is uncomfortable it is a lot uncomfortable to tell your parents a lot we do not tell everything to our parents it's but like, nikita let me tell you like you said in the beginning right that validation thing i actually don't agree with it because uh, we are looking at the likes these days how many likes at the end of the day hamari post pe aaye ठीक है why should it why should that matter if you are confident and you have your own this thing that you are a good artist you are a good singer you are you should be confident enough and i think keep moving ahead in life without bothering about ki kitne likes mere post pe aaye ya kitne logon ne usko bahar walon ne pasand kiya theek hai yeah i totally agree with you on this because uh, agar aapke bahut confidence high hai and you are very Uh, confident about your personality, about who you are. You don't need validation from other people. Bilkul. But uh, just one thing that this social media thing, it is like a network that has been created, and it is uh, you cannot escape it. So somehow I can relate to this a lot, and I'm just sharing this that I am a person very active on social media. I am like, uh, as you say, I 
just post things. I just even post a lot of random things that I do. I do. I share it, and I just like to see the reaction of the people. Even though I know who I am, I am the most. I, I from my side, I am confident. I you meet me, I am very confident person too. But at that time, it's like uh, when I post something, I post something funny. That time, I see the people's reactions. So now, that time, I'm not getting validation, but I'm seeing reactions. So now, at that time, somehow it makes me feel important because I maybe at that time I'm not have. Now the loneliest factor comes here. I am at at the time I may not be you know in a situation where I'm feeling very low, and that is the time I actually post. So the the time when I'm feeling very low and I do not have anyone to talk to, and we as parents, it is important for you all to understand that some of the daily things that we share with our friends are not to be shared with the parents. No, I'm not saying that as parents we don't understand. We definitely understand. Yes, and what Rachit said, yes. Ramgopal, we I understand all the viewpoints which you. Uh, children basically for us have mentioned here but only thing is you know uh, like this mms thing has happened or uh, when the things take a wrong turn that troubles us only that thing, troubles. as i said that, as parents we are bothered that, about you so yeah, we that just is, want that limit thing has to be there which we all have discussed um, yes, that is important. Yeah, i would like to add something ma'am yes, yes. ma'am is it okay if i share my experience ma'am i i am from the same university where this incident happened and it happened is it comf- is it okay yeah, 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 please, go ahead. please go ahead yes ma'am so i am 17 year old ma'am and i joined that college and it's an excellent college the environment is amazing and i stayed in girls hostel i am from an army background and uh, so i joined there and so my parents left that morning and it happened in evening in the same hostel where i used to stay just one floor above mine and when it happened i became very scared and the the very first thing that came in my mind is call my parent call, call mummy call papa and sabse pehli cheez ye hai ki mummy ko batana hai and fir dusri cheez when i uh, took my phone dusri cheez mere dimag mein aayi ki uh, मम्मी परेशान हो जाएंगी शायद पापा परेशान हो जाएंगे तो इसलिए अभी के लिए जस्ट वेट सी द सिचुएशन एंड देन कॉल मुझे परेशान नहीं करा मम्मी वॉज ट्रेवलिंग दैट टाइम शी वॉज गोइंग बैक होम एंड सो दिस थिंग केम इन माई माइंड दैट आई डिड नॉट कॉल हर एंड आई फेज एवरी थिंग देर एंड देन द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग वेन माई मॉम डैट सॉ द न्यूज दे कॉल मी बैक दे लाइक कॉल क्यों नहीं किया and when i talked to my parents when i talked to my mom the feeling that i got they comforted me they they helped me to calm down unhone bola ki we're not physically there to support you right now but hum koi na koi solution nikalenge tumhe tumhari madad karne ke liye we will try every possible way to help you and uh, my parents called some relative uh, from there and they took me out from that hostel for time being and that phase was little difficult for me but I, my parents were always there mujhe pata tha ki main kuch bhi baat kar sakti hu so i will i can talk to my parents i can talk to my mom I can talk to my they are always there for me to listen to me to help me to support me so agar kuch bhi baat ho you can definitely open to your parents and wo hamesha aapke sath rahenge no matter what absolutely very well said it's just i would like to add something yeah please rajat please oh, sir so although i completely agree with the fact that we should share everything each and everything with our parents but you know sometimes there are few incidents like if we talk about some sensitive incidents okay so let's say koi bhi sensitive topic hai and the fact that the person is very afraid of you know sharing that thing with their parents or with any of his or her friend right but I know as Vasudha ma'am also mentioned that parents' ke actions are wrong, but their intentions are never wrong, right? But I think in this case, me sometimes what happens, such as specific incidents, that I am talking about, which are quite sensitive to that particular child. So let's say, us ko itna time, apne andar wo chiz build up karte hue ho gaya, and finally that particular child has got the courage to either share it with his friend or with his parents but eventually let's say if that particular child is sharing that thing with his parents whether it be any blunder anything about his private life anything which is quite sensitive to that particular child 
और उस चीज पे अगर पेरेंट का रिएक्शन आई नो इज नॉट ऑलवेज सुपोर्टिव दैट इज कम्प्लीटली नेचुरल बट अगर वो उस पर्टिकुलर एक लाइन से ज्यादा क्रॉस हो जाता है पेरेंट का रिएक्शन वेदर इट बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ सम एल्स या फिर दोनों के बीच में ही अगर वो रिएक्शन कुछ पर्टिकुलर लाइन से क्रॉस हो जाए तो आई थिंक वो बच्चा आगे से उस दिन के बाद से कोई छोटी वो तो आई थिंक दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज वेरी पर्सनल टू दैट पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड बट After having a look at that particular reaction, उसके बाद से आई थिंक बच्चे में वो चीज डेवलप हो जाती है कि अगर इस चीज के लिए ये रिएक्शन आए तो आगे से जो छोटी से छोटी चीज वो शेयर करना भी चाहे वो भी शेयर आई डोंट थिंक सो वो कॉन्फिडेंटली या उतना अच्छे से कर पाएगा सो आई कम्प्लीटली अग्री विद द फैक्ट दैट पेरेंट्स के इंटेंशन और मतलब कभी गलत नहीं होंगे द एक्शन माइट बी बट उन एक्शन की भी एक सर्टन लिमिट होनी चाहिए बिकॉज कई बार वेदर इट बी अ चाइल्ड वेदर इट बी एन एडल्ट इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ करेज अ लॉट ऑफ गट्स टू शेयर समथिंग जो आपके अंदर काफी सालों से दबा हुआ था एंड इट इज नॉट लिटरली ईजी आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स जिनका कुछ सिमिलर इंसिडेंट्स थे तो अगर इतना गट्स इतना करेज आया है कि ओके वी कैन यू नो जस्ट शेयर इट विद पेरेंट्स और नेगेटिव आई थिंक रिएक्शन इज क्वाइट कॉमन दीज डेज बट अगर नेगेटिव अप टू एक्सट्रीम हो जाए तो दैट इज द पॉइंट वे पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो नीड टू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड द फैक्ट दैट अगर हमारा बच्चा हमारे पास नहीं आएगा तो वो कहाँ जाएगा so i think you know, rachit i would like to just add one point here i fully agree with you but you know parents ke sath bhi jo bachcho ka relation banta hai wo ek din mein nahi banta right bilkul agar bilkul. immediately at this stage if you feel ki you have to share something very important of your life theek hai be it tomorrow you might have to take your partner in front of them <laughs> right so obviously that is also a big thing in life which you have taken mm-hmm. a decision and you're not sure whether your parents will accept it or not this okay. relationship has to be built from the early childhood itself and there this effective communication thing definitely comes in if the parents are busy when the bonding has to be developed how can they expect the child to take care of them when they need it मतलब जब आप छोटे हो आपको छोड़ के इफ एज अदर आई एम बिजी ओनली मेकिंग माई करियर ठीक है ऑब्वियसली यहाँ हर मदर की हर लेडी की हर फैमिली की थिंकिंग अलग होगी ठीक है बट स्टिल एज अ मदर आई सीरियसली फील दैट वेन दी चाइल्ड रिक्वायर्स यू यू नीड टू बी विद चाइल्ड then only agar aap expect karte ho to वैसे these days parents also don't expect much from their kids but still if you are expecting it from your parents to take care aapka how that bonding has to be there tabhi that unka bonding. conscious hurt hoega theek hai so bonding comes with spending time bilkul so hum corporates mein kya baat karte hain bonding with your team what are you doing with that you uh, guy uh, ram specially you are in the uh, corporate hr mm-hmm. what do you do you take them out for dinners you doing a uh, training mm-hmm. now what is that that is spending time with them ab wohi time hum apne parents ke sath ya kisi ke sath spend karenge tabhi to bonding hogi aur kaise bonding hogi aur hum is sari kahani mein yahi batane ki koshish kar rahe hain ki what we have done in, in this anomaly is this system is that you can't make a home because anything done in a home is not taken as work so to hum log jo 24 घंटे हैं उसमें से चाहते हैं सब लोग 10 घंटे बाहर हो और जो 12 घंटे में से 8 घंटे तो सोने में निकल गए तो 4 घंटे में सारी कहानी जो है घर बनाने की कैसे हो सकती दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल सो वी वी कम वी आर ऑलरेडी 8:15 फिफ्टीन एंड लेट मी जस्ट आस्क राम इन द लास्ट यू बीन लेफ्ट शेयर योर व्यूज एंड देन बी जस्ट रैप everything is almost covered it's just that again you know i believe that you know a youth understands youth more than uh you know generation gap would always be there my our children the the youngsters over here our children would be like obviously a way advanced than our, like us right so in the same way i think when i communicate something to my age group they understand it they understand it in more effective and mannerable way so that's what i feel and i think for this like we can kind of conduct sessions and you know the the talks like these where we can kind of or in schools that schools are the best way because they that is like kind of a open gate to the world so once they complete their in the second year or say 12th obviously they want to hit the different play like different world all together right so i believe that adding you know talking to youth and people like us like we all of rachit 
Nikita, Rishu, like we all should, you know, kind of spend time and, you know, uh, should I'm, I'm always open, like as you guys come from like different, you know, different, uh, you know, professions, I'm always open to talk and, you know, uh, we yeah. should talk. That is the only thing I want to add on. Conversation, communication is the main element Good that right. is required. Like Reshu said, Ram said, Nikta, Rachit, I think they agree. This is what, what is required. And we ha hope to have more conversations with people like you. We are trying to get into the uncomfortable conversations. And uh, we uh, basically would like to go to corporates, universities, and colleges with these conversations. Let me share with you the conversation contacts because there might be people who are there uh, who would like to get our contacts let me just share this slide just uh, those who wants to connect with us i'm mona mehra uh, we, i have my number here vasudha rajni and our email is voices for happy homes at the may rate gmail.com this initiative was started by me long time ago because i saw something wrong happening inside the homes and you can go to my website to check things out uh, and I thank all of the panelists over here, Vasudha, Reshu, Nopada, uh, Ram Gopal, Nikita, Ram. Rachit, and Ram. Rajini. <laughs> <laughs> Nopada, yeah. you're there. Rajini, no, uh, we are missing Rajini because she's having a bad connection and she's not able to connect back. And uh, she was here in the initial part. And I'm we miss you, Rajini, if you're listening to this. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, hope to see more of this conversation and hope to see all of you again. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so pleasure, much. Thank you, Lovely pleasure. interacting with all of you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. 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 Pleas